Governor Robert Ray, having been so transfixed by the plight of the boat people refugees that he wrote to President Carter volunteering that Iowa would double the number of refugees it accepted, now wanted to follow up. And a few weeks after he saw the CBS Reports documentary on TV, he was in Washington at the National Governors Association meeting. And he asked for an opportunity to address all of his fellow governors. So here in this room, all the governors are arrayed around a long rectangular table, sitting in the order by which their state was admitted to the union. And Governor Ray got up and spoke from his heart and told them about the plight of the boat people, refugees, and what he had seen and what he did. And he urged them to all be with him and let's together uh, we can uh, support and encourage the president to reopen America's doors. And uh, making his appeal, here he was a very senior, highly respected governor, respected by other governors on both sides of the aisle, and he finishes, and there's dead silence. Not one governor says anything. And I was sitting in the room with Governor Ray. We had worked on his remarks together. I was the liaison. I shaped all of this. And, and I was crestfallen. I, I couldn't believe there was not any other governor uh, who would step forward. I expected that there'd be many, many jumping in. Uh, and there was a long time. And finally, Governor Bill Milliken, the Republican governor of Michigan, and a friend, close friend and associate of Governor Ray, spoke up and he said, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. And then the Democratic governor of New Jersey, Brendan Byrne, spoke and said, I'll be with you too. And so the three of them formed the National Governors Association Task Force on the Boat People Refugees, and we launched a lobbying effort around Washington. The governors using their political connections, Governor Ray and those in Congress, uh, Governor Byrne with Democrats who were running the government, and me with my connections in the State Department to Richard Holbrook and other senior officers who I got to know at the, uh, well, you know, I was serving as Holbrook special assistant on the seventh floor where all the senior most people, I had connections into the National Security Council staff, the Asian staff at the White House. I'm dealing with them coming saying, here's this opportunity, we can do something. Holbrook and his team had never been able to get the doors open to get new refugee numbers. And so we lobbied and lobbied uh, and to change the policy. And this would then come to a head in July in Geneva at the United Nations Conference on the Boat People. And it would provide an opportunity for one of the most remarkable moments in the history of American humanitarian leadership in the world. In July 1979, and I had the opportunity to be there with Governor Ray.